the toiletry fogless shower mirror. I wanted to rave about this for a little bit. Now, I've had this for a week or two, so you can see how it works. It sticks basically the base and the mirror itself. You can separate them and the base has an adhesive sticker. You peel the sticker off kind of like a 3M hook or something like that. Then you apply it to a smooth surface. You can see it tells you which surfaces it suggests a tile, slate, fiberglass, and obviously in this case I found that it works well on glass. I think any smooth surface should work fairly well. I did rub it down with uh, rubbing alcohol first and let it dry so that it was clean, dry, smooth for a better stick. That's very important. Now the question you're going to have is, um, well, I mean you can see it's quite big, which I didn't think I would actually need because it's quite, it's almost double the size of my old shower mirror. But now that I've got it, I really like the size because I can just see that little bit more detail. Um, now you can see it's adjustable. You can see like that. You can turn it sideways a little bit if you wanted to. The big question probably you're gonna have is does the non-fog or does a non-misting feature work? And the answer is yes. It came with a plastic uh, film over the top. I've taken that off. And what happens is you pour, you're in the shower and you put hot water in these three reservoirs up here and that keeps the mirror at around shower temperature so that it doesn't fog up. Now, I wasn't sure this really, really worked. So what I did was I didn't fill up the reservoirs. I let this mirror mist up, fog up really badly. And then I put the hot water in the reservoirs. And to my amazement, I watched as the fog dissipated. So it really, really does work. I will say what helps with it is this handy little squeegee that comes with it that you can put on this shelf. This is another feature. You can put your tweezers, it's got a little divot or a little groove for your razor, which is super handy. But what helps is that if you have a lot of water on the surface, you can then drag it off with a squeegee. Long story short, this reservoir really works to help keep the mirror fogless. Obviously, if you're having a very long, very hot shower, it will fog up a little bit. All I suggest is that you empty it out and then put more hot water in. And what I really like about the fact that it can turn around like this, obviously you don't want to leave water, stagnant water in the mirror whilst you're not here. So you twist it and all the water will come out and you can let it drain. So you know you're not like growing algae or moss or bacteria in the reservoir. So you just turn it to the side to let it drain. And then when you come back into the shower, you can twist it, adjust it. And because it's so easily adjustable, you know, if you're a bit shorter, it's going to be very easy to tilt it down. If you're a bit taller, very easy to put it back up. So for someone who loves doing almost all the toiletry stuff in the shower, as I said, it's just so much more useful, practical, and there's less cleaning up. I can't recommend this enough. And yes, it is probably twice, as I said, twice the size of the old shower mirror that I had, but I have found that invaluable, especially when it comes to doing a haircut with the, with the shavers. I can really, really see um, see what I'm doing and shaving, getting close up in a way that I wasn't able to do with my smaller mirror. And the surface is very, very clear, just like a real glass mirror would be. So that's a toiletry fogless shower mirror. I love it. I can't recommend it enough. Just make sure that whatever surface you're going to stick it on is a surface that's nice and smooth and that you clean it off first. And it's been here a week or two, no signs of coming off or loosening or anything like that. Build quality seems solid and it's just super, super handy. Highly recommended.